how's it going? My name is Hiroya Tsukamoto, finger style acoustic guitarist. And I arranged an old folk song called uh, What Eyes Wide. And this is a, a pretty well known uh, uh, song because uh, lots of people cover this song, um, such as John Bias. And also James Taylor did that, this, uh, this song. But also, this is a relatively uh, uh, a popular piece among uh, finger style guitarists uh, because uh, this is a complete package. Beautiful melody, simple melody, with a beautiful harmony. And the song length is not too long, so it's a perfect uh, song for solo acoustic guitar, uh, which I also sometimes play at my shows when I perform shows. And uh, when I play it, uh, most of the time I used to play in uh, drop D tuning or dad guy tuning. And these tunings uh, work great for this piece. But at the same time, when I play this piece in key of D, in drop D tuning or dad guy, uh, it sometimes sounds too obvious. So this time I wanted to make it uh, little different and uh, what uh, acoustic guitar magazine asked me was uh, arranging it little modern so that's what i did and uh, i decided to use a tuning called c g d g c d again c g d g c and d this is a wonderful tuning um, the this six strings uh, is uh, C drop down to C, which gives a really nice, a rich low end. And your fifth string is G, drop down from A to G. And then the fourth and the second stay the same, D and G. And the second string is raised up from B to C. So this gets tighter and this tightness gives you a really nice uh, uh, resonance. And then the first string is dropped down from E to D. Okay, so uh, there are two things uh, I kept in mind when I arranged this piece. Uh, first one, uh, I try to utilize uh, open strings as much as I can. Uh, you know, to just maximize uh, the good thing, things about this tuning. So when you play this, uh, this arrangement, uh, important thing is uh, play it slowly and just appreciate the ringing of those open strings. And then don't touch the str other strings because if you don't, if you touch, you stop the ringing. So and if you can make the sustain going on, the song can go smoothly. And another thing is uh, to make it a little modern, I used one note, which is outside of a C major scale. Uh, in this case, this is in key of C major. And th the note is this. It is a G sharp note. And when I use this note in key of C, as on the C chord, uh, this is a sharp sharp fifth, or you can call it augmented fifth. So it's gonna be like this kind of song. And if this note is used in dominant setting, in this case, uh, key of C uh, dominant chord is G or G seven, and this function becomes a flat ninth. In, uh, in G chord, and this is gonna be like this. Gives you a darker uh, vibe. And this dominant chord, G chord, resolves to tonic, which is a C. All right, so I'm going to play this arrangement for you. And since this is a short piece, I'm going to repeat it. And I hope you enjoy uh, listening to this arrangement, but also I hope you enjoy playing this arrangement as well. 